Hi guys, this is Kenny S, and I'm gonna show you how to be a decent hopper. Uh, at least I'm gonna try. Um, we'll show you the way I'm practicing. Uh, also, I'm gonna show you a bit uh, of tricks, uh, especially in Inferno. Uh, this is my favorite map, so it's gonna be easy for me to show you uh, my special things, I would say. So to, to practice my uh, my hop skill, uh, I mostly do this match. Uh, on Dust2 or Mirage, doesn't matter, but uh, official maps. Um, I'm also making sure that I'm good with the other weapons because being an OP also requires you to be to be good with other weapons. So even if you're an OP, you don't have to to forget about training with the other weapons. So yeah, what I do basically it's uh, uh, 200 kills OP each day. Uh, also 100 kill AK and uh, 50 M4. Uh, I'm mostly focusing on AK and OP. Uh, and I'm also focusing on pistol. Uh, I mean, it's really important for me to to make kills during the pistol run, so I can have uh, I can start a good side. Uh, so yeah, some pistol pistol deathmatch as well. But uh, the the bigger part might be the the up uh, the up training, which is uh, 200 kills each day, at least. Uh, I do I need two, 200 kills because I have practice, and then I'm trying to to FPL as much as possible. Uh, this is basically what I do, uh, but with practice and, uh, and stuff, it makes uh, it's a lot of hours. All right, uh, so to show you a bit of tricks, uh, I'm gonna basically show you the, the typical run I have on Inferno. Uh, so my position is Arch, but as an author, I'm really like free to go pretty much everywhere I want. So I basically start here, not most of the time, but like I mean, most of the time, but I can also start from here and here because the, the point of being an OP is also being unpredictable so yeah basically I'm holding this angle uh, I can try to be a bit more aggressive uh, at the beginning of the round but not over picking just trying to get a kill if I can if I'm getting blind or something I'm just falling back uh, because that's a typical run where I don't take risk that's the, the it's not like picking aggressive it's just, you know, classic run. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm holding the angle. I'm trying to save time uh, for the smoke. And uh, yeah, I smoke and as soon as the, the chi smoke here, arch, I'm rotating. I'm rotating here. And uh, afterwards, I can also go inside, switch my teammate. He's going arch and I'm going, I'm going here. And I'm picking from here. So yeah, that's the basically the typical runs, uh, classic runs where I don't really play aggressive. I just play passive, uh, even though I'm retaking uh, middle uh, in a certain timing, which is aggressive. But what I'm saying is that at the beginning of the run, I'm not playing aggressive. I'm gonna show you an aggressive pick though. Basically, T side, the terrorist likes to to be here at the beginning of the run, which makes sense because it's map control, and uh, most of the time they will. Uh, they will just shoot through the wall to uh, to kill the guy uh, going forward apartment. So I'm using that to to pick him from boiler. I'm going here and I'm picking him from window. And uh, the guy is most of the time in the middle or just here, which makes him an easy target, especially that he's really focused on on the wall bangs. So yeah, it's a it's a, it's a it's a pick I like to do, and it's the one that works uh, most of the time. So I would advise you to do it. If you do the kill, what I would advise you as well is, would be to to change sides because, as I said, uh, being unpredictable is super important for an opener. So as soon as you you made the difference on a, on a side, uh, it would be a great idea to to change sides and uh, and go B. So uh, they don't really ex expect you to be there since you make the kill at the beginning of the round on A. Um, I don't really play B really often, but I know that I really like this position. Uh, it's really fits in my game style. I, I kill the first one, I'm falling back, I kill the second one, and uh, you know it works. You're falling back it, every time you change angle, different angle every time, and you get different kill all the time. Uh, because it's really hard to pick an open in this position. 
Uh, if you have any question, if you want to, to have further explanation about everything, because it's just small tricks, okay? It doesn't, it's not going to make you the best opener in the world, but at least just take the advice to be predictable and you'll be annoying for the for the opposite team, which is the point of being an opener, being annoying. Uh, so thank you for watching and uh, see you soon, guys.